Good morning, everyone. It is Liani, and today's video is Blasphemy on the Airwaves. So, <laughs> on the TV, I was watching the TV the other day, and there was like a commercial that was pretty much uh, promoting sorcery. It said, uh, for peace of mind, for calmness, or something like that, to call... Um, for, it was like for psychics or something like that, for peace of mind. I said, what? This is crazy because you will never get peace of mind from uh, inviting witchcraft or sorcery and or sorcery um, dealing with witches, warlocks, demons, you know, things of that nature of the demonic. You're never going to get peace. So I don't even know why they said that. But that was the commercial. And I just was like, wow, these workers of Satan are getting so bold out here between, you know, things like that. Or, you know, you guys saw the award shows and ugh, that's a whole nother thing. And then, you know, um, just with our, our government, with this, with the rights of certain, you know, individuals like, okay, I can't say how I want to say because then they'll probably try to block and do stuff because that's what they do when you talk about it. So let me put it this way. A chicken want to be, you know, um, wants to be a cow or a banana wants to be a kiwi, you know, things of that nature. And it's like forced on us. Now, I don't care what anybody says. For Christ, I live to the day that I go on to glory. I stand by what I believe in. And when the Bible says that certain things are against his will, then that's just what it is. It's not our own opinion. That's what the word of the Lord says, is that we are to be obedient to the Lord our God. They have their views and things that they want to do. The apple want to be an orange, the banana want to be a cucumber, whatever. That's what they want to do. That's worldly. So they're going to, God's going to lead them to their devices and things of that nature because they rebel against them. It's written in the Bible. I don't agree with, you know, the people in the world and, you know, that's their view. That's your opinion. But I don't force mine on anyone. I believe what I believe. I'm not going to let nobody change my mind or my stance on it. But that is what is pushed on the agenda and the things that are pushed on us. And I don't like it one bit. This whole world is changing so drastically that you it's like you they don't want you to think for yourself. They want you to have a certain opinion of things. They want you to go along with whatever they believe. And if you do not agree with what they believe in, then it's just this whole thing. You're you're uh, hateful or you're this, but nobody's hateful. I don't have to, we can agree to disagree. I don't agree with the lifestyle. And that's your preference. You do what you want to do. But we are here as Christians, Christ followers, and our job is to uh, go out and spread the gospel. So that's what we are to do. That don't have nothing to do with you. If you want to be rebellious and not do that, then that's on, that's on you. But you can't make people or call them hateful. Now, mind you, there are some people that are out there, you know, trying to harm the people and things of that nature i don't condone no violence like that that's not even if we don't agree on you know lifestyle i don't condone you getting violent with nobody because you disagree on something or a particular topic that's not the way to solve stuff at all on both sides on the side that that is not for it and the side that's for it that ain't the way we can all talk and if we disagree but we can still have a respect for each other but know that we just don't agree with, you know, the stances that we, you know, take. And, um, you know, the Bible speaks of things that are an abomination to God, witchcraft, and then the cucumber wanting to be the apple or whatever. I can't say the word. I would say the word because I'm not scared of that, but it's just they won't allow you to say certain things, I guess, as guidelines or whatever. So I'm not trying to ca cause no problems, but I'm trying to make clear that I, that's where I stand, that, that I don't support those things. That's just out of the will of God. And whatever God is for, I'm for. Whatever he's not for and Jesus is not for, then I don't agree with. Whatever it is. So that's that. From the biggest things to the smallest things. But um, it's just pushed everywhere. 
you know, you look, even commercials, everything. And it's like, it's one thing if people have decided that that's what they want to do in the world, but don't force it on everybody because that's not cool. I don't want to turn around my husband and don't want to turn around. There's other individuals. We just, it's not for the kids, you know, all these things. It's just running rampant in the earth. All this sin, all this rebellion. I'm, I promise you, it feels like it's like Sodom and Gomorrah part two. And we know what happened back then. God is being patient so that people's hearts and lives are changing. It's in Peter. He's slow in doing what he's doing because he's he's not slow in what he's doing. He's making sure everybody's hearts and lives are changed. People, please wake up. Change your hearts. Change your lives. Come to repentance. Ask the Lord our God to forgive you of all your sin. Go and sin no more. We are sinners. But for the things you have blatantly done that you know is against his will, knowingly, repent of your sins because God's wrath is nothing to play with. And he's coming. Because we see this, even we, I was speaking with my husband, I'm like, we didn't even get a winter. Like, when have we ever known it to be this warm in the winter time? Come on, y'all. We're saying the Bible that the seasons will change and they feel like you, like you can't tell one from the other. Come on now, wake up, open your eyes, stop sleeping. It's time to wake up on the airwaves. They got that witchcraft and they promoting it like it's normal. And it's not normal to be talking about you're going to go to psychics and be contacting the dead and all these other things. That's an abomination to the Lord our God. They get in bold because Satan knows his time is coming and it's up. And Jesus is coming. We don't know the time nor the hour. Nobody know that but the Father. But y'all better believe that you better repent of your sins. Try to get on the path of righteousness, please. Because your soul is at stake for this. You don't know the time of the hour. He's going to call your name to go on to glory or wherever you're going to go. But you want to make sure that it's in heaven. So I'm pleading with you all to please take this serious. Don't be sleeping around with people that ain't your spouse. Don't have no adulterous affairs or watch what you listen to on the radio, what you watch on the television. Stop worshiping these celebrities that's idol worship or other things. Even, you know, when people pass away. We're going to get to that too. That's idol worship. The Lord told me that, but that video is coming soon. But come on, y'all. We're going to need to wake up. And I say this out of love because I don't want nobody to perish, including myself. I got to repent daily. I will not, hopefully not daily, because then that mean I'm doing stuff all the time. But I, we got to repent when I'm doing something that's out of the will of God, whether it's in your thought, speech, or deed. And that includes me. I'm not exempt. So I pray that this blesses you all that it encourages you all and just be aware and be alert as the Bible says so that you're not caught in the snare of the enemy, but you're in the hand of God and his will for your life. God bless you all. This is Liani. Have a great day, guys.